Ancient houses stand scattered in this picturesque traditional village, much like a vast outdoor museum. Today, a large number of relatives and clan members have gathered here. They're here for a big family event. A couple in their 60s is to announce that the man has become a new Jongson, the eldest male descendant and central figure of the head family. What does it mean to the Jongson and Jongbu of the family clan? And what is Jongga, the head family that exists around the Jongson and Jongbu? What made all these relatives from all over the country gather at this place? This episode will explore the deeply rooted spiritual secret that has defined Korean culture and Korean people's lives for centuries. A beautiful village sits at the bend of the Nekdong River. It's Haohei Folk Village, where the Ryu clan has resided for some 600 years. Tradition has been so well preserved here that the village was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This ancient house located in the center of the village is Chunghyodan, the Ryu family's main residence. The first owner of this house, Ryu Songnyeong, was a renowned 16th century scholar and politician who played a pivotal role in defending the country against Japanese invaders. The entire household is busy getting ready for tomorrow's big event. Ryu chang -hei is the eldest direct male descendant of this family. He retired to his hometown two years ago to look after his aged parents and take care of family affairs. This is Last year, his father, the most important figure in the family and the 14th Jongson, passed away. Tomorrow is the day of Gilsa, a ceremony marking the succession of the Jongson status after a year of mourning. In Korean families, the eldest son wields the greatest influence among all family members. So the highest authority is bestowed upon Jongga, the head family which is directly descended from the first ancestor and Jongson, the eldest male descendant of the head family. In the inner chambers, women are busy preparing food for tomorrow. Li He Young, wife of Ryu Chang He, is to become this family's Jongbu tomorrow, after 32 years of marriage. Jongbu, wife of a Jongson, has authority rivaling that of a Jongson. Because she is the one who actually plans family events and bears children to carry on the family name. 
필사가 어떤 제 삶의 전환점이 되는 시기, 되는 의식인데요. 예지 것은 차종부로 그냥 이제 도우는 입장에서 제가 이제 모든 종가의 살림을 주관해야 되는 입장이 되니까 제가 앞으로 이큰 일을 잘해 나갈 수 있을까 그리고 문중에 누가 되지 않고 문중을 빛나게 할수 있는 그런 중책을 맡아가지고 어 굉장히 부담스럽죠. 그리고 뭐 사명감도 느끼고 <웃음> The old Jongbu has been the lady of the house for 42 years, but she will pass on that title to her daughter-in-law tomorrow. Despite her advanced age, she has earned the respect of family members and fulfilled various family obligations. 동제사 접병이도 잘 해야 정부의 응. 책임이 다 하는 겁니다. 응. 오는 사람 물이라 당전 대접하고 밥이라 당근 주고 응. 제사 정성껏 잘 받도록. 나, 나도 정부치 응. 너무 오래 했어 이제는 나도 좀 편한 사람이 되고 싶어. 진짜 책임을 좀 벗고. 응. 이 This is the Jonga of another prestigious family. The entire household has been busy since yesterday preparing the ritual foods. When there is an event at the Jonga, women of the family go to work with the Jongbu at the helm. These women are all married to the men of this family. This woman has been living the life of a Jongbu for 36 years now. I married and married, I go to the house of the Jongbu. 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 그래서 제가 깜짝 놀랐죠. 그 나이 24살에 결혼해가지고 그 종부 앞에 그90 넘으신 연세 어른이 꿇어 앉으시니까 그분들의 조상을 모시니까 당신 조상을 모신다고 그렇게 종부인데 대접하는 거예요. 이게 토종국화입니다. 이건 전하는데 국화하고 대추가 들어가거든요. 이 들어가면 향도 좋고 맛도 좋고 좋아요. 다음 제사에는 꽃이 피서 꽃을 쓸수 있겠어요. 땄다고 이거 보세요. 큰 입이 없지 않습니까? 전번 제사에 또 땄지. Another ancestral ritual has begun even before the chrysanthemum leaves had time to grow back. 32 times a year. That's how many times the Jongbu has to prepare formal ceremonial offerings and serve numerous guests while maintaining perfect manners. In the old days, she could have put servants to work, but in this modern age, she cannot just order people around without doing any work herself. <laughs> 땀이 비어도 다지 뭐 옷을 입고 앉아 있을 수도 없는데 거기서 이제 제자 지내는데 한번 입어 보세요. 뭐 저는 요즘은 한 일주일씩 아파. 한번 제자 지내 옛날에는 또 젊어서 근데 요즘은 한 일주일씩 거만 매번 못 아파. 어쩔 수 없죠, 애니까.
Although each family is different, a set number of offerings are required for the ritual table. They cannot be omitted or reduced in number just because the work is too hard. But the work has gotten a lot easier nowadays as fewer relatives attend the rituals. <laughs> Women of the family are tasked with as much work as the Jongbu. But even they can only imagine the extent of responsibility and degree of effort demanded of the Jungle. <laughs> With the passing of time, Jongga's authority has diminished, but its responsibility still remains. Jongbu also worries about the changing world. 지금 아직 우리는 며느리를 보지 않았습니다. 근데 참 걱정은 정말로 힘이 들거든요. 이 제사 차리거나 일손이 없기 때문에 그래서 앞으로 이 며느리가 있을 때 어떻게 해야 될까 그게 제일 고민이에요. 차남은 저는 걱정을 안 하는데 장남에 대해서는 정말로 며느리가 보기가 참 어렵습니다. 어떻게 해야 될까? A symbolic building exists in every junga. It's a shrine located in the deepest part of the compound, farthest from the main gate. Only the Jongson and a few permitted people can enter the ancestral shrine. Ancestral tablets with the names of dead ancestors are kept inside the shrine. According to the Confucian rules, Ancestors only up to four generations back are remembered with name tablets and memorial services. But a handful of people are permitted by the king to be honored with ancestral tablets for eternity. This tablet called Puichangui is the symbol of an honorable family. <laughs> As darkness descends, clan members begin to show up one by one. An ancestral ritual is also a chance for a person to have his identity confirmed as a member of the family. Names of the people who will be in charge of each ritual process are written down. Although it is not a religious dogma, Confucianism has dominated the Korean people's psyche. It teaches that the notion of hyo Filial devotion and duty is the most basic of moral codes, and holding memorial services for deceased parents and ancestors is a manifestation of strong filial love. Jong Son occupies a central role in the family, bearing responsibility for all family rituals. He inherited the title of Jong Son at age 30 after his father passed away. The young Jong Son has lived his entire life fulfilling the obligation of representing his family. 나한테는 형님이 한분 계세요. 그런데 저를 얼굴도 모릅니다. 태어나기 12년 전에 돌아가셨어요. 나는 너를 저기 태어나자마자 이제 자정손들이 요새 말하면은 
장남으로 이제 그렇게 어릴 적에는 커왔고 정선이라는 것은 자기가 하고 싶어 사는 것이 아니고 또 하기 싫다고 안 하는 것이 아니고 어쩔 수 없이 태어난 운명이니까 As midnight approaches, the Jungbu checks the food offerings for the last time. The ritual begins between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. That's when spirits move about, so the ceremony is held when ancestral spirits are free to come. Now the men walk toward the shrine where the spirits of their ancestors reside. Today's ritual is a Puchanui service, a special ceremony permitted by the king. The venerable ancestor's tablet is taken out of the shrine and brought to the main house. Jongsong is at the center of all these processes. This is a ceremony in which living descendants meet with the spirits of their ancestors by remembering them. It bridges the preceding generations with the later ones, transcending life and death. Just offering food to ancestral spirits does not signal the end of the ritual. The food offerings are divided and served to the guests. A ritual is only over when umbok, the practice of sharing the food with the ancestral spirits to receive their blessing, is completed. The tradition of people reconfirming their roots and returning home in the early dawn hours will continue for some time. at another traditional village. A branch of the Yi clan founded a Chonga here in the 17th century and has lived here together since then. Yi Dong is the guardian of this village as the 13th Chongsun of the Yi family. The sad reality is that traditional villages like this one comprised of a jonga or old houses are gradually disappearing. But many older Koreans are still deeply interested in the value of jonga and their roots. That's what motivates these descendants living in faraway places to visit their jonga. 그래서 저는 평소에 에, 할아버지 할머니가 살아 계시면서 우리 자손들이 하나 하나 살아가는 모습을 다 보고 계신다고 생각하고 그렇게 모시고 있습니다. After 13 generations, biological bonds must have thinned, but their respect for forefathers has not faded. 우리 재령이 씨 가문으로서 그 어떤 역사가 이렇게 살아서 지금까지 내려왔다는 게 너무 뿌듯하고 또 자부심이 있고 잘 살아야 되겠다. <웃음>
As in other head families, Jongbu Jo Kui Boon spends all her time arranging memorial services and serving guests. Jongga is always bustling with guests, so it is a key virtue of a Jongbu to have great culinary skills. Secret family recipes are passed down from one Jongbu to the next, and the dishes faithfully recreated from these recipes have been served generously to guests. Chisondere In Korea, Jongga cuisine is held in high esteem as an elegant and exceptional fare. Such high regards would have been impossible without the effort and love of Jongbu's past and present. Outsiders can't easily comprehend their rigid lifestyle, but they live their lives with pride. Still, they are looking for ways to address their concerns about whether the next generation would willingly observe the tradition. Uh The entire Hawe village is in a celebratory mood. Food offerings to the ancestors have been prepared. This is the day when the clan welcomes its first new Jongsong in 40 years. The whole village has been buzzing with excitement since early morning, as relatives from all over the country began arriving and members of other clans visited to congratulate the new Jongsong and Jongbu. It's not that often a memorial service for a deceased ancestor is organized like a joyful festival. <laughs> in women's quarters, the new Jongbu is getting dressed up in a splendid ceremonial costume. She's wearing a special handbook called Hwalu, worn only by royals and for special occasions like weddings. <laughs> The new Jungbu's anxiety over the important occasion is intensified by the cumbersome dress. The old Jungbu has dropped by to see her daughter in law. Her Jongbu friends from other clans have come to congratulate her. 
왜냐하면 내가 해보니까 이 소매가 다 베리더라고. 음. 저는 그래서 내가 음. 하나 가지고 올까 하고 싶다가 또 내가 다시. Although she has been fighting to hold back the tears, a kind word of advice from a Jongbu has brought tears to her eyes. She now takes the first step as a jungle. Clan members watch the ceremony, each person filled with a sense of identity, pride, and high self-esteem. Now the new Jongson and Jongbu announce to the ancestors that they have officially inherited the position. <laughs> Jongson and Jongbu live their lives following the Jonga's strict decorum, quite harsh even by Korean standards. That tradition has been resumed today. Jonga is a spiritual pillar that has supported Korean people's close-knit community spirit and the sense of filial devotion. Even to modern Koreans who leave their hometowns, Jonga remains as a timeless, valuable heritage. <laughs>